What's up guys? Welcome to another video. Hope you guys are all doing good. In this video, we're going to review a divorced woman which decided to divorce her husband just because she felt like it. These are the papers for her divorce. These little pieces of paper, little flimsy pieces of paper can break and end something that's so strong and such yeah. a heart. I did it. Always in the car. <laughs> 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 Welcome back, family. Today we are reviewing this modern woman who tried to test her husband mm. by divorcing him thinking that he oh, will yeah, beg yeah. her to not leave him. It all backfired when her husband got so tired of her childish behavior and didn't contest the divorce. Now she cannot stop crying and blaming everyone for her reckless actions. Let's first start by exposing the day she was getting ready to file. These are uh, oh my. the papers for her divorce. <sighs> and um, it's very sad. I don't understand how. Eight years. Oh. Um, trying my best to love somebody. And you shouldn't be on TikTok. You should not be doing this on TikTok. If you're sad. That's okay, but you're on TikTok filming this. Why? For what reason? It's not going to benefit you. <sighs> Fight for them. To put up with so much abuse. Mm. And just be wiped out with little papers. <laughs> it's not easy. And as much as I know that this needs to happen, um, it still hurts because I never wanted this. Oh. I actually did love him. Listen, your husband is probably a reasonable person. If you just go back and now, it's okay. He's probably going to forgive you. <sighs> just go back now. I get it. You're emotional. Sometimes you fight, but just go back. It's a stupid thing divorcing your husband. If he's a good man, I don't know. Sometimes I watch these videos and I just think to myself, why even go through it? Do you know how hard it is to get a good person, a person which cares about you? They don't grow on trees. And I know you, how can you love somebody that does those things to you? I, I don't know. I don't know why. Maybe I see brokenness in people and I know that we can all be better people and heal Maybe. if we want to. <laughs> I'm sad. It's this. <sighs> this is the dreams that I had for us as a family and as husband and wife. And these little pieces of paper, little flimsy pieces of paper. Mm. Break. It's on TikTok. The whole world is watching you right now. The whole world. Why do it? I get it. I understand. Sometimes your friends gas you up. Oh, just divorce him. You don't need him. Those are single ladies. They want to drag you down with them. Misery loves company. I know there are a lot of girls. Oh my God, you're so brave. Do not listen to those people. Do not. Do not follow the sheep. I see so many videos like this of women just sitting, crying, regretting it. I'm, baby, you're so brave. Oh, you don't need him. He's controlling you. He's a narcissist. You listen to all those people whispering in your ear. And then later... When you're sitting all alone, those people are gone. You do not want to die alone. That's the thing which people do not understand. You do not want to die alone. And what is she? Is she, what, in her 40s? You just have to say, if you're having a midlife crisis, have a midlife crisis. Buy a sports car. Do something crazy. But divorcing your husband? Go to counseling. That's why counseling exists. And end something that's so 
was strong in somebody's heart. You don't have to do it. It's hard. <laughs> yeah. I'll get through, but I'm sharing my oh journey my with you guys. Every part of it. Just so you know that you're not alone and you guys oh, make me feel not alone. Of course. So, here goes. No, ma'am. Nobody is forcing you to file those papers. You are willingly deciding to divorce your husband. Mm. This is a life-changing decision that you are making in real time. So, day one, after filing. And I feel so sad. Well... I know I'm going to go through different emotions, but right now I feel sad. Hey, guys. Um... I just uh I just woke up today. Today's the first day of divorcing my husband. Uh this is a journey which I'm going to be going on right now. Um like uh share always in the bed. If it's not in the bed, it's in the car. Um I think the last time I felt a pain like this was when my mom died. Oh, see. And in a way this is a death. Um of hope and I look around and I, I see I just want to scream like I see the Christmas trees that I put up oh and God. you're so brave baby good job oh you you're a boss queen now now you can be with Chad now you can get your booty blasted by Chad oh God grandma's on TikTok. all Shit. this beautiful home and all my dreams I had for us. I just want to scream. I just want to like run away. I want to mm. get, I want to, I don't want to see any of this. Mm. It hurts, you know? I don't want to see it. I know that um, this is going to be a process for me, ups and downs. And I'm sure, you know, you kind of probably like Corey smile, like get over it, you know, but this is my page to heal and to be brutally honest about every piece of this journey. So I barely slept last night. I've got a migraine. My heart's broken. Yeah. And uh, a wise man learns from the mistakes of others. You could just take literally a hundred of these videos. They end the same. I'm just thinking, what is the husband thinking? Like nowadays, I get it. If I were together with a girl like this, after all, just like, yeah, okay, yeah, sure. If you want a divorce, I'm not even going to contest it. Fine, whatever you want, whatever you want. You're not even thinking from his perspective. We're not even hearing his story. He probably had hopes and dreams and life did not pan out the way that he wanted it to pan out. But still, He's a good father, maybe, or maybe he's a narcissist, abusive, in sickness and in health, till death do us part, till death do us part. Words are just words nowadays, they don't really mean anything anymore. So much of me mm. wishes that he'd be like, I'll change, I'll fix this, I love you, I'm sorry for all the things I said. You know, you never deserved it. I'll never say that again. I'll I'll pay attention to you. I'll 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 communicate with you. I'll lose my anger. It's not going to change. But I guess I'm somebody that will always have hope because not not always have hope until the divorce is done. Listen, some of these people are spoiled. Have it so good. This is a good life. This is a good life we're living. Think of it like sometimes I watch people like this and I'm just like, do you know how good you have it? You're not hungry. You're not starving. You have, probably have a job. You're fortunate enough to do TikTok videos posted laying in your bed. You put a light and you're posting and you're talking about your feelings. Do you know their, their kids? Limbs getting blown to pieces. People going through war. I don't even have, they don't even have water. In some, some places you don't even have water. 
and still, hey, I'm going to stay with this person. Oh, no, we're going to go through it. But only in the West does this exist. Only here. And I'll always have hope that things could change. Um, and I guess that's just yeah. me being stupid, I'm sure many of you would say. I don't think you're being stupid. Or maybe it's just me trying to see the good in everybody. I don't know what it is. Um, I'm you're not weak. Spoiled, I don't know why I became all. this woman. Who am I? <laughs> but this is where I'm at today, this morning. I'm sad. So, let me get this clear. She doesn't know what she wants. Mm. She doesn't know who she is. She doesn't know if she made the right choice or not. But she is the first person to tell her husband how he should treat her. You just can't make this shit up. This next clip is really going to show you how needy this woman really is. So I saw a comment. I deleted it, but I need to respond to it. Someone asked to hear my husband's side. Mm. So let me very tell interesting. You. My husband's side. Well, um, he loved me and gave me everything he had. and did everything in the world Called for me. It. And you know what? I have to tell you, though, actually, to his credit, he did do so much for me. Except show me love. Oh, my. You're a grown up. 40 years old. You're not a teenager. We're not in high school. Oh, my God, we have to go to the ball. We're, we're going to prom. Hold my hand. We grow up. We grow out of it. Even I understand as a grown up that sometimes there's certain things you have to sacrifice. Being in a relationship is all about compromising. Sometimes I win, sometimes she wins. But we have forgotten that. It's like, it's all about me, me, what I can get. What I can hear from this woman is like, okay, the man wasn't perfect. I get that 100%. No one is. But he takes care of you. He pays all the bills. He's probably going through something. He's probably thinking like, okay, let me just continue. Let me just power through. Seems like a nice guy, honestly. The grass is always greener. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to leave him and then I'm going to have my fairy tale. It's going to be a happy ending. Life is not a fairy tale. Most, most of the time we go through shit. But it's the people around us which makes it worth living. Respect and attention and hold me and kiss me and look at me and and communicate 19 year with me old girls and, um try to have a uh, conflict resolution yeah, ever never age um he he did everything in the world that money could do or he could physically do what is he supposed to do he's supposed to provide provide that's that's his task as a man that's how he shows his love I get it, I understand. Sometimes it's very hard for a woman because you're just thinking emotional. Why isn't he showing me emotion? Why is he so reserved? Why is he constantly in his man cave? That's his way of communicating. It's very difficult as a man. Constantly, you have all the world's pressure on you and you must perform. You must. But emotionally, he, he's been gone since mm. month two. Yeah. And I happen to be pregnant. So um, there's that. And that's very typical of mm. the personality type I'm dealing with. There you have it. She even admitted that her ex-husband did a lot for her, but she still wanted more. You cannot give enough affection to a broken True. woman. She will always want more because all she really wants is validation at all times, mm. just for existing. And the next clip will show you more proof that a broken woman knows deep down that she is inadequate and that is why she need attention all the time just to feel alive. Okay, so I've got a business idea. We need to come up with a robot boyfriend or girlfriend, partner, whatever. What? for people that are um, going through a divorce. Okay. Okay. So let me just write that down. A robot boyfriend and or girlfriend. It's not a bad idea now. Let's see here. Let's get a, let's get a pen. Uh, yeah, we can just... Robot 
boyfriend and or girlfriend. Okay. See you there. That way, mm. you don't feel super lonely. Yeah. And you can like, or, or is there like a service of men or women, but for me it'd be men, that I could buy um, to just give me compliments all day and tell me he loves me and everything's going to be okay and call me and check on me and like just build me the hell up. Mm. And because I don't actually want someone i just want mm. some affirmation right now yeah so is there we we need to create a service like yeah. this maybe a ai version would work it's not it's not a bad idea i gotta give it to her that's not a bad idea but <sighs> we're losing connection from reality sometimes life is supposed to be hard the only way you learn is when you go through hardship that's the only way you learn. Have you ever gone through a breakup? And when you're in the breakup, you're thinking like, my God, my body, mind, soul is destroyed. Like, I, I can't even get up, right? And for some reason, you get the energy. And you conquer one day, then another day, then another day. And then after a week, two, a month, you look back and you're like, whoa, I became actually stronger because of that. Let's let's get a robot which is going to just feed us with compliments. Life doesn't work that way. I wish it was. Or maybe her life works that way because, you know, she's a modern woman. Um, I'm taking applicants right now. This might come out as a joke, mm. but remember that it is the same thing she said about what was wrong with her ex-husband. This means that it is in her belief that a man should compliment and validate her all the times. Now before the sweet tears of regret, I will show you one more clip that will illustrate how much this woman is confused. After filing for divorce, she decided to come back in her ex-husband's life, then come decided home. to leave again by claiming her so-called abuse. Her life is just such a mess. Check it out. Hey y'all, um, it's Corey. And I'm finally ready. I know a lot of you um, we're probably cringing that I gave him another oh. chance. Um. Sweetheart, you should never give him a chance. He's a narcissist. He's a manipulating narcissist. You can never give a narcissist any chance. Because he's evil. He's a man and all men are evil. I spent the past oh. year um, with the divorce filed sitting mm -hmm. in the court and um, doing all the things on all the lists that he said I should do. Mm. Um, and what I learned is that didn't stop the abuse. Mm. In fact, I'm still told that what is, I'm experiencing isn't abuse and I'm making it up. Yeah. Um, an incident happened a few days ago where he had an iPad and he was holding it up saying he was going to bash my effing face in. So I... And this is the problem. We never hear his story. We never hear his side of the story. She just gives you that version. Once I was out, right? And this guy comes up to me. Starts yelling. I, I want to... He wants to fight, right? And I'm like, what the hell is wrong with you? He's like, I talked to one of you. I was, I was talking to your ex. Da, 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 da. Um, and I was like, what? You were talking to my ex? This guy was apparently super in love with my ex. And then my ex was talking about me. And my ex was bashing me so much. He did this. He treated me like this. If I'm being honest, I was the best person to this girl. I was really, really good. It ended with, I don't want to say why it ended, but I was a really good person. And to hear it from that person, I was like, wow, is that how she felt? Hey, you're a good guy. You should be with her. If I was such a horrible person, you should be with her. 
Guess what? Six months later, who's texting me? Hey, we, we should hang, we should talk when something happened. And I was like, I sat down with her. We had a conversation, right? And she's telling me something about like, oh, this happened to me. This happened to me. This happened to me. And I was just like, I understand. I wish you the best. I don't want to get involved. It's not even that sometimes they make up things. It's the way they perceive reality is totally different. She can literally do something which makes you not even crazy, just angry. Like, why would you do, why would you, you would actually do that. And if you're pissed off, if you even raise your voice, you're being verbally abusive. You're like, hey, I understand. I get it. Sometimes you just need to walk away from the situation. And that's what I've learned. Nowadays, just walk away. There's no point. You can't sit and try to explain something to a person like this. You can't. She's already the victim. Victim mentality. He has done this. That's how it is. So that's why I'm going to end the video. Uh, if a person wants to walk out of your life, guess what? Let them. That person is not even supposed to be in your life. Just let them. But anyway, guys, like, comment, and share. And leave it in the comment section what kind of videos you want to see me do next. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.